Hello everyone! In today's video I will show you how to use the conf operator in ABAP. Functions, methods or function modules in particular expect unique data types when you pass values. If the method expects the value of data type character with the length 12, no data type of string can be passed here. A type mismatch error or a type error would occur here. To prevent this from happening, you can use the conf operator to perform an inline conversion. I will show you how this works with this example. I click on the button pattern and then up up object patterns and then I use a class and method of mine which I have created in a former video. The video where I created this class and method I can link it to you on the top right. And then go on. This is the code and this uh, parameter here expect a special data type. Let's double click on the method, see the data type XUB name. Another double click and we see this is of data type character and length 12. So let's go back. And that means if we pass here the parameter of type character with a length of 12, the mesh method call should work. So let's check this. I create here two variables LVB name of type character 12 next lv email type ad sm um, smtpadr the email address next we uh, give the variable a name or we pass your value def user and then we pass the variables lvb name and lv email okay and let's uh, write the result so we can check if the method call was successful Ready print. Let's activate the code. And let's run. Okay, we see here a result. So the method call works. So let's change the declaration to string and let's activate the code again. Then we get an error here because the two types are not compatible. Um, and now we can use the conf operator I write here conf hashtag bracket open and close and I can use the hashtag here because the data type can be derived clearly if it were not, I would have to write it explicitly. I show this in the second example. So let's activate. Then we got no error. Okay, we see the call is successful and it works. Okay. Uh, so go on to the second uh, small example. I declare here another variable, res of type float. And res is, uh, I compute here the square root of the number five. And in a next step, I want to write the result. 
and I want to write the converted integer result. Conf i bracket press. So here I write the data type explicitly. Click on pretty print, then on activate, and I run the code, and we see here the result in float and the result in the converted integer. So, so you can use uh, this is how you can use the conf operator and this conf operator is very handy especially if you have multiple method calls in your code and don't need to adjust the variable for the different calls to a different type each time that this now works in line is very handy yes that was it already thanks for watching I hope that the viewer can take one or the other useful thing from my videos. I'm always happy when I get comments, so feel free to leave some here. If you haven't already, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I hope you will join me for the next video. Thank you and see you soon.